What exactly is that balance that has to be struck? Well, I agree with uh, everything that I've heard so far, which is that this is a uh, right of people to make this choice. And I think that um, it's important for physicians, though, to show people that this vaccine is safe. This is not a new technology. And this is something that can really make a big impact uh, in this pandemic. And so uh, just being good examples for the community, being able to talk with our patients and show them that a large number of people have received it is an important step. We're showing a photo right now of you you getting the actual shot there. You are a medical doctor, a medical professional. Do you did you feel comfortable getting it? Did did you feel any reluctance whatsoever? Did you worry that the rushed way in which the vaccine was kind of brought to acceptance and market somehow impacts the efficacy or the side effects coming down the line possibly? I honestly didn't. I, you know, I'm an emergency medicine physician at Ohio State. I work in the emergency department regularly and take care of COVID patients, you know, almost every shift. And um, having read up on the vaccine, having read about the trials, having read the data that the FDA released uh, with their approval, there was really no hesitation on my part to get this vaccine. The uh, We were not the first people to receive this. It's been trialed. Uh, this was after a phase three trial with tens of thousands of people who've received it. And so I didn't feel any hesitation to get it on my part. You work for a university medical program. Do you get the sense that your feelings are the same as your peers throughout the Ohio State University medical system? I do. I think there was a lot of buzz yesterday. A lot of people who've been excited to sign up and get themselves an appointment to get this vaccine. Uh, we are as a medical center starting this vaccination process yesterday and really ramping it up today. And we expect to use up, you know, as much of the first allocation as we can because we have a lot of frontline workers who are excited for this opportunity. What exactly is the case that you would make now to to frontline workers, not just here in this country, but but elsewhere around the world as well, as to why it's important for them to get vaccinated for this particular disease ahead of their treatment for everybody else out there who may be succumbing to this disease? Well, I would think I would encourage them to read the data and you know make a decision for themselves and for their families. Um, but when it all comes down to it, you know it's it's time for physicians to be a good example for the community. We've been a good example for years, and we can continue that with this vaccine. And you know I, I think that's it's been shown to be safe and it's a great opportunity for everyone. As I, as I kind of look at the whole process as it's developing, we talked about this notion that doctors and, and their patients and the relationship between them will be key to getting people to feel comfortable. What exactly then would you give in terms of advice to your fellow medical professionals out there about getting people to feel comfortable with the notion of getting vaccinated? You know, I just think setting an example, um, you know, allowing them to make the decision themselves, but showing them the data talking to them uh, about how I'm feeling. You know, it's been a it's been a great 24 hours almost. I haven't had a single symptom so far. And, you know, I've just been excited to, you know, have uh, have the opportunity. So I think just encouraging them to make this decision and really put a lot of thought into how it impacts them, how it impacts their practice going forward uh, um, and how in the long run it can impact our communities. And then before we let you go, Dr. What exactly is your biggest fear? What's the biggest hurdle that you see coming down the line here? What exactly is it that could make this vaccination effort perhaps a little bit harder to come by than initially thought? I, I think the biggest hurdle is just the skepticism that we've been discussing. Um, there's a lot of uh, information out there and there's a lot of, uh, you know, people questioning its efficacy, but in the long run, uh, it's just doing a good education out, uh, effort, uh, making sure that people understand the safety behind this vaccine and how important it could be to uh, bringing an end to this pandemic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.